Okay, I think I'm doing it. You guys, I haven't gone live from my laptop in a long time. So I wasn't quite sure what to do. But here we are, I think I've done it. Okay, so hello, Spruce Society. How are you? My name is Sherry Von Loebstein and I am coming to you guys from Nashville, Tennessee. So um, as you join in, if you could just tell me in the comments where you are from, I would love to see that. So this is my first time going live in here. And so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also super excited to share it with you today. And hopefully I am, yeah, I'm all good. We're in the right place, so I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna keep going. Okay, so today I am gonna talk to you about feeling stressed, um, anxious. Um, is there anyone in here familiar with those two bad guys? because I am very familiar with them and they are certainly no fun. So stress and anxiety, like what can that look like? Um, so that can look like you or someone that you love gets anxious before a test or an exam or presenting in front of a group. Um, it can be that butterfly feeling that you feel for a first day of school or for a new job. Um, it can feel like being scared to fly on an airplane it can feel like um, being overwhelmed and stressed about finances, relationships, to-do lists, um, responsibilities, health challenges, like the list goes on and on and on, like all the way up to full-blown like anxiety and panic attacks that can happen for no good reason and have no explanation. And I've definitely experienced that before where literally I will just be like, my chest is tight, I am having anxiety and you know I'll share that with my husband and he'll be like what but why and I'm like I don't I don't know it just kind of comes from nowhere and it really is not a good feeling and so if you have felt that before I am sorry but I am here with you to say I understand so whatever it is whatever your situation whether it's just like a little bit of nervousness here here it's like the full-blown oh my gosh like I am stuck in this um in this trap um oils can help. And that is a great feeling because in my experience, anxiety can feel like super lonely, helpless, and very defeating. Um, one time I was in kind of a, a time of, of anxiousness and I kind of, for me personally, I kind of get in these cycles where um, I'm doing great and then all of a sudden it's just like anxiety just hits and hits and hits. And for me, I remember one time being at a hockey game. We live in Nashville, so we go see the Nashville Predators, go Preds. And I remember being in this arena with like, what, 16, 17,000 people, but feeling like I'm all alone, like in my seat, just like all alone. And it's just a, a, a really terrible feeling. So um, I'm very excited to share with you that oils can help because they've helped me. And so my goal here is just to simply share like a little bit about stress, feeling anxious, give you some oils, some product ideas to try, tell you some ways that I use them so that you have a jumping off point for your own journey because like all of our bodies are different, right? Like what works for somebody over here might not work for somebody there. And the beautiful part is this, is that you can determine your own pro protocol. And, and I love that because we have so many products to mix and pick and choose from. And the other beautiful piece to this is that I'm going to share about a lot of different oils and you are likely not to have all of these oils and that's okay you don't have to have all of them just pick what from what you have and use what you have um okay so when we feel stressed when we um when we're feeling stressed when we're feeling nervous we're feeling anxious like this is an emotion okay it's not a physical symptom that i can be like it's right here no it is it's all emotional I hate to say it, but it's all in our head. It is. Um, and so even though it is emotional, I will say that anxiety and stress can make us feel physical symptoms. We can feel our chest being tight. We can feel our heart racing. We can get a headache. We can feel nauseous. Like you can have a pit in your stomach. You can feel paralyzed, unable to move, okay? You can have physical symptoms, but, um, but truly anxiety, nervousness, stress, it is really all emotional. And so when we're dealing with emotions, 
Inhaling the essential oils is actually the most effective way to use them, okay? Because they're going like straight up into your nose, into your brain, into your limbic system, which is responsible for your responses to fear and your emotions. And it does things like it controls your breathing and it controls your heart rate. And so for this reason, inhaling is your best way to use your oils. Now, I do use them topically topically as well um but my tip for that is when you do put them on topically you need to take a moment to breathe them in okay so um, one way is to dump them in your diffuser which you can't see my diffuser but it's right there and it is going um the other way is to do a scent tent and so i'm going to show you how to do that um really quickly and yes my nails need to be done and this is the internet it's going to live forever but here we go okay so i take some oil I put the oil in my hand, I rub it together, and then I'm gonna take my glasses off for this. And then I'm gonna make a scent tent over my nose. Now, some people do it like this. I tend to leave a little opening so that I can actually breathe. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna, sorry my dog. So I'm just gonna sit here with the oil. I'm gonna cover my nose like this. And I'm just gonna breathe in deeply and slowly and y'all i'm not going to just do it two times like i just did for you i'm going to sit here and i'm going to do that for a few minutes okay a few minutes that is the difference maker um for that you want to make sure that you are taking enough time to do that so that is a scent tent now i do also apply oils topically for stress and so um the places that I like to put those are, I like to put them on my wrist. So especially at night when I'm going to bed, if I'm feeling stressed um, at bedtime, I like to put it on my wrist because when I sleep, my hands are like this and then I'm like totally smelling it. Um, other places, I like to put them on the tips and the rims of my ears, the back of my neck. Um, sometimes I put them on the crown of my head, my chest, and on my temples. So a little tip for those of you who want to be discreet. So maybe you work somewhere where you have a coworker who has complained, or maybe you just don't like to draw attention to yourself and you know that the oils have a strong scent and you don't want people looking and wondering like, what is that? Maybe you're on an airplane, like maybe you're just somewhere and you wanna be discreet. So I have a couple of tips for you. Um, number one is to put the oils on a cotton ball, like put it in your pocket and then just simply like grab that cotton ball out, just kind of, you know, sit like this, like that doesn't look weird um to breathe it in and i will tell you that i have a friend who actually will put oils literally like right here instead of right here like if it's in the daytime and she's out and about she'll actually put the oils here because she can just sit you know like this this doesn't look weird this doesn't look abnormal but this does right and so she'll put the oils kind of here so that she can just kind of sit here like this and she can breathe them in so that's another way to be discreet but you can you can get a bandana or a scarf and maybe tie it around your neck put the oils on it and that way you can just kind of pick it up and sniff it through the day um they make blank inhalers nasal inhalers that um have a little wick inside that you open you put some oils on you close it up you can break it out and just kind of smell it leave it in your purse your backpack your car whatever um they even make jewelry you guys like there's bracelets there's necklaces that you can put oils on and just kind of pick them up and smell them throughout the day so there are ways for you to be discreet now another way to use the oils topically if you have the ability to have someone give you a massage whether you go get a professional massage or you have um, a friend or a spouse who's willing to give you a massage um, massage and the oils can help to relax your body so the massage in and of itself is relaxing but maybe grab our relaxation massage oil or some other oil that you love and take that and, and be like just here put this on me right just put this on me okay so here is where I think that um, some folks drop uh, the ball a little bit when they're using their oils for anxiety and nervousness. And honestly, when they're using them for anything. I feel like sometimes we don't use enough. Uh, we don't breathe it in for long enough. And then the other thing is that like they don't actually think about using their oils until they're like so deep in the weeds, so to speak, um, that, that it's kind of hard to kind of bring them out of it, right? When you're deep in the anxiety attack and you've just really like, dug into it it's hard to come out when you get that far in so um it's great to start kind of learning your triggers and start learning like i know that this is how i feel when i'm starting to just feel anxious and to go ahead and nip it right there um and the other thing is that people will just try one oil they won't have success and then they're just going to give up so 
Um, so what I'm asking you to do here is like, just don't wimp out on me. <laughs> okay, don't, when you load your diffuser, don't just put like one or two drops um, in your diffuser, like load it up, like put five, like if you're using a couple of a couple of oils use five drops of each if you're using one oil go ahead and put eight or ten drops in there okay just breathe it in and then when you when you do you know the scent thing or you put some oils on your body like really breathe it in don't just okay i'm good i'm ready no like really just sit and slowly breathe it in deeply and consider doing that for a couple minutes you guys i totally did that before i did this like go live thing um Okay, so I'm going to share a few of my favorites that I use when I am in the midst of feeling stressed or anxious. Okay, so my go-to oil, my go-to is grounding. Like this is like, I discovered this accidentally actually. Um, one of the things that, one of the ways that I feel anxious when I get like one of my triggers, what shall we say, um, is traveling without my family. So there's no reason for me to feel anxious, but sometimes I just get this icky feeling like that I need to be home. And um, there's no real reason for it. I'm happy to be where I am. I'm loving what I'm doing, but I just get this like feeling of I need to be home. And I just don't, I don't like that, that feeling. And so one time I tried grounding. I got it out. I smelled it, I put it on my chest, put it on my wrist, and I was actually at a, a dinner with other people and I was just feeling super stressed. I put that on and you guys, like five minutes later, I just kind of like was like, wait a minute, I feel good. Like, I don't feel that way anymore. Wow, okay. So ever since then, grounding has kind of become like my first, <laughs> my first, I don't know what's wrong, but this is a Rhodesian Ridgeback and whining is their thing. Okay, so a list of some of my oils that I like to use. Okay, so um, Valor. Here we go. I got this Valor roll on for you. Um, Valor is one of my go-tos, okay? Um, and that's probably, I don't know, probably everybody's go-to, right? Valor um, and Stress Away. So I love that we have like the roll-on option and we have the, the ability to put a roller fitment on here. And take it on the go. So Valor, Stress Away, and I actually don't have every oil here that I have list, but I just have a few, so I thought I would show those to you. Um, bergamot. So bergamot is a super calming oil, and actually all citrus oils are happy oils, so um, they can help lift you up. So with any of these like oil options that I'm going to share with you, you can combine them with a citrus. It will always like bring you up and and um, help get you out of that stressful feeling that you're in. Um, but I love bergamot. It's it's just super chill. I love it. Um, actually, I have a roller um, that I mix um, bergamot, frankincense, clary sage, orange, and grapefruit, and it is fabulous. And I'll I'll drop the recipe for that in the comments. Um, okay, so I am diffusing right now. I learned this from Aaron Rodgers, Idaho Grand Fur, and lime. These two together actually help lower cortisol. So um, it helps with stress, and I have been diffusing this a lot lately in my car and just around my house. It smells amazing. Um, and actually, I find that tree oils are, are some of the best oils for me. So I also love like Northern Lights Black Spruce. I love Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, um, White Light, White, like whatever, whatever tree oil you can grab. Like for me, those are super helpful. Um, patchouli. Okay, so actually I don't have that one down here. So patchouli. Patchouli is an amazing oil. So, matter of fact, my son is having um, some itchy skin right now, and he's in Knoxville, and um, we're grabbing some patchouli to get to him. But patchouli is also a very, very, very calming oil. And not my favorite to begin with, but I have really come to love patchouli. So, a couple of ways to use it if you're like, I'm not so sure about this, but hey, I have some because I've gotten it free, and so I'm going to try it. You guys, mix patchouli with a floral and a citrus, and use only one or two drops of the patchouli and more drops of your floral and citrus. So I have combined it with lavender and orange, and it's amazing. And um, so, and I've also done joy with patchouli with a little bit of orange or grapefruit. So try patchouli, give it a try. And mix it with a floral and a citrus, and you might change your mind about how you feel about patchouli. Okay, so some other oils that you can try. Hope. Do you guys have some hope 
that you maybe got um, free on a, um, one of our promo oils and you're like, I don't really know what to do with this. So hope is really good if you're also feeling sad to go with your like stress. So again, remember when I said like different things that could cause the stress, like one thing could be that you're a caregiver for a parent or a family member. And so that has you overwhelmed because maybe you have a job and you have kids and you have all these things and you're having to be a caregiver and maybe they're ill. And so you have feelings of sadness that go along with your feelings of overwhelm. So grab, grab the hope and put it on the rims of your ears and then put that into your diffuser and mix that with your favorite citrus oil and just diffuse the heck out of that. Um, frankincense, orange, ylang ylang, like all of these are great calming oils. And to be honest, we have so many like calming oils in our arsenal that honestly, you can't go wrong. Like if you are just looking through your stash, you're gonna find something that you can use. Now, some pricier oils that I'm gonna share, and if you don't have these, it's okay. Don't feel like you have to go get them, but maybe some of you have these on hand. Um, Neroli, have you smelled Neroli? Y'all, that one might be next to Northern Lights Black Spruce. It might be my favorite. So we have three oils that are created from the orange tree. So we have orange that comes from the lime. We have um, petit grain, which comes from the leaves. And I think, I think the, um, like the bark, don't hold me to that one. I need to double check. But we also have neroli and neroli comes from the orange blossoms. So neroli is a floral oil and y'all heavenly, but also super, super like calming and relaxing. It's amazing. So if you can smell it somewhere, smell it. Um, if you can use your, use your points, grab it. I love it. Um, also have a great roller for um, combination for that that uses lime and black pepper and frankincense. I'll also drop that in the comments when I'm done. It is, it's amazing. Okay, um, and Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, which I do have that one here to share with you. Okay, so Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, also a tree oil, super duper calming, but pricier. But if you have it, use it. Okay, so we also have, um, oh, a couple other things. Um, if you tend to ruminate, if you're a person who like kind of gets stuck in your thoughts and, and, and you just ruminate or you have racing thoughts, um, a couple of things for you to try are vetiver and tranquil. So how to use these. Roll on your temple, across your forehead, to your other temple, and back, okay? Try this for ruminating and racing thoughts. This is great for when you go to bed. Um, vetiver is a thick sticky oil so make sure that you again put them on your temples um, and then I like to put at night this in the diffuser with cedarwood and orange if you're having racing thoughts but actually I have a sleep blend that I use um, lavender cedarwood frankincense and vetiver and actually I make a, a little sleep diffuser bomb and I don't measure I literally like, take the tops off and I just pour a little bit of each one in there and then there's my little diffuser bomb, and that's how I use it. Um, so for racing and ruminating thoughts, vetiver, tranquil, try those. And valerian. Valerian is also a super-duper calming oil. Okay, so we also have a couple of supplements that you can use. Um, have you ever tried the Unwind? I know it's like meant for kids, but we can use it too, and I do. I have a box of it in my nightstand, and I I tend to not use it every night because sometimes I forget just because it's in the drawer, but um, my husband is gone right now with my son. I'll make it home. My kids are gone to college right now. And um, so I have been breaking it out and using it to help me sleep at night, but it has magnesium, it has 5-HTP, it has lavender and Roman chamomile, and all of these are super calming to, to the body, um, super calming ingredients. So uh, if you have some unwind, you bought it for your kids, like break it out and use it for yourself. And also we have cortistop. So cortistop is really good because when we are stressing, we produce cortisol and you do not want loads of cortisol. If you start Googling about cortisol, they call it the death hormone and all these terrible things. So you don't want loads of cortisol in your system. I'm so sorry. Um, 
I think he needs to go outside, but he'll, he can wait just a few more minutes. I'm almost done. So, um, cortisol, it contains natural ingredients that have been shown to help support the body's natural response and help maintain balance. So break out the cortisol. You don't have to use it all the time, but if you're in a season of stress and anxiousness, go ahead and use it as directed on the bottle. And then I'm going to, I am going to go rogue and I'm going to tell you something I use that's a total off label use, but I have done this and I have put stress away under my tongue. And I'm going to be honest with you, super zen feeling, super zen. And um, I don't do it all the time, but I have done it, and I'm still here to tell you about it. So um, it, it has, what, copaiba, cedarwood, lime, uh, vanilla, mm -hmm. lavender. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I've put it under my tongue before. Okay, so there's so many options. We have a ton of great oils for stress and feeling anxious. And then I have a few other tips that I'm going to share with you that are outside of oils. These are things that I do that I pair with my oils. And I have um, really, at this point, I'm going to say I, I feel like I have a really good handle on my stress and anxiety. Whereas before, I would say I did not. Um, so I use my oils and I pair them with calming music. So when I know I'm in a space of uh, stress and just I uh, can't get a grip and get myself together, I go somewhere quiet. So if I'm out and about, sometimes it's in my car. I literally get in my car, I put my diffuser on, I put my oils on and I turn the spa channel on and I lay my seat back and I get myself together. If I'm home, I can do it anywhere in my house, but I listen to calming music. And so that can be like the spa channel in your car. It could be, um, you can go on YouTube, you can just search calming music, calming sounds. You can listen to sounds of nature. I like to listen to instrumental hymns. And then I know that we're all here of different faiths, so if this is not for you, but I also have a sermon that I listen to. Um, it's from a guy called Jimmy Evans about changing my mind about anxiety. I found that a few years ago, and it really helped change my perspective about anxiety. I, I um, From that, my my synopsis of it is is that basically anxiety is this little thing and it's sitting right next to me. And so when I told you about being in the, striker, stop it. When I told you about being in the arena, um, with all the people I'm feeling alone, I envisioned myself that I was sitting there with my little anxiety next to me, handcuffed to me, keeping me from enjoying my life, keeping me from enjoying my friends and family. And so um, if I get really, really down, I will pull that sermon up and listen to that. Um, and the second tip is that you cannot have fear and gratitude at the same time. So the truth is when we're feeling nervous, um, if we're feeling nervous about flying, if we're feeling nervous about our first day of work, right, it's fear. That is really the base of it is fear. And so, um, <clears throat> so you can't have fear and gratitude at the same time. And so that can look like um, praying and, and being grateful to the Lord for the things that you have, but it could also look like just writing things down, or it could look like just saying out loud, you know what, I'm really grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. And y'all, it can be the simplest, silliest things. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my house. I'm grateful for my car. It doesn't matter. Just start saying what you're grateful for. As you keep going, you will stop it. Seriously. Um, it's like I have toddlers and I don't. So, um, Anyway, just start listing things you're grateful for um, because you cannot have fear and gratitude at the same time. And you will find that as you start doing that, you're going to get a minute or so into it. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better already. And then the third thing is to control your breath. And so there are things you can look up online about four by four breathing. Some people call it box breathing, but go look that up. It's about how you breathe in, how you hold, how you exhale, how you hold, how you breathe in. Like, And so look up that breathing because when we are feeling stressed and we're feeling anxious, our breathing will tend to be more shallow and fast. And then that tends to amp our heart rate up. And just all of it's like a waterfall of symptoms that just like take us from here to here like this. And so those are um, my best tips for dealing with stress and anxiety. I hope that you guys like got something from this, You um, that something um, resonates with you and that you are going to try it in the near future. Um, and thank you for allowing me to have a few minutes of your time this morning. Bye y'all.